Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm Angela, and you have reached Gigi's Findings. If you like this kind of content where I am going to be opening um, some Goodwill packages, I have two today from Rockford, Illinois. Like and subscribe. This was in a separate little baggie. Oh, what do we have here? Zoom out a little bit. There we go. This is a bracelet. Oh, this is sweet. It's uh, it's slightly stretchy. It has these little gemstones here. It feels natural. Oh, we're gonna have to turn on Percy, aren't we? I just put new batteries in her. It almost looks like tiger's eye. Wow, this is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna put this down for right now while that's warming up. That's kind of funky here, but I really like the stones. They're cold. We'll test this as well. This feels natural as well. All natural beads. You have the little silver in between. These are fun. I'm loving all the natural stones. So far, Rockford, you've done well. Okay, this has got gold tone and then on each one of these has like a natural stone that's been um, attached. Where is, this looks, this looks like it's been around a minute. I don't know if it's uh, vintage. It would fit up to about a seven and a half. Remember I'm, oh, not that you remember, but I'm a seven. It's really nice. It's simple. Gold tone. Doesn't have a lot of wear on it. For an older piece. Oh, it's pretty gemstones. I'm gonna per pull Percy over here. Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, This is going into Jade Idolite. I mean, it's up into that area, obviously. Tourmaline. It's past Tourmaline. Oh, it's up in the, it's in the Jade area. Yeah, these are all natural stones. Oh, that's a pen. Natural stone. Tanzanite? It's definitely natural. Wow, these are great. It's another natural stone. <sighs> you all know and love Jojo, who's barking at the neighbors. It seems like she was so quiet, and then I started doing a video. It's got a little bit of wear. A couple of, most of these are silver, I mean, a gold. And then we have this one that's kind of worn off and it's got the silver on here, but they're all natural. This one may go to, uh, this one will probably go to craft. There's no, there's no maker mark on it. Look like there was, but there's not. It's an older closure, but I don't think it's vintage. It's just nice. Same with this one. I don't think it's vintage either, but it's definitely a nice little bracelet. Again, this is a natural stone. So this whole little baggie was just natural stones. What do we got here? This is natural stone as well. Yeah, that's that went up to the tourmaline area. I don't know if it's tourmaline, but it's definitely... I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. Oh, this one matches the bracelet. Let's look at this one. It's t 
tiger's eye. But you see how this matches? It's got the same as this bracelet. So it could go as a set. I The only thing here is that silver, which to somebody it may not be a big deal, but it's a set. I mean, you've got, and you got two little tiger's eye on there. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. I think that that's worth listing. Oh, a nice pen. Oh, it says say something. Can you see what it says? Twenty twelve. I can't tell, but I bet this is, I bet this is Jay. No, it's not Jade, but it is natural stone. It's just not going up to all the way up to Jade. It is natural stone though. It's a pretty pen. And then, oh, look, we got here. We've got, oh, some more. Oh, I think this matches the set. These little earrings. Okay. And what do we have here? Oh, let me go back. This seems like an older necklace as well. I mean, it could be vintage, but I just don't know. It does have a the, the spring clasp. Does it say anything on there? I don't see anything on the clasp. Nope. It's a pretty little heart. I can see my reflection in it. And that is going all the way up to... It's jade. So that's a little jade heart. And then we have our jade... Well, these look like jade. Yeah, these are jade beads. So a little jade bangle. It doesn't have a lot of stretch. Let's see. I mean, but it's all right. I mean, it's, I don't think you really need a lot of stretch for that. I got all these bug bites from Florida. Have you, if you've ever been to Florida, have you ever heard of noceums? That's what I call them anyway. They're little bugs and they bite you, but you can't see them. So I call them noceums. Okay. And then I'm just gonna check a couple of these. This goes um, all the way up to, well, in the Spinel Topaz area. So it's going, it's going all the way up into here, into that area. And this should be Tiger's Eye. But yeah, these are all natural stones. Good quality hard stones. And it's still got a lot of stretch to it. This is an older, and I bet you that these little guys with all the natural stones, you know, if it was me, I might restring this, but it's got a lot of nice, nice stones to it. Well, that was, oh, we got all kinds of more to go, don't we? Okay. I was approved to sell on Whatnot not too long ago, and I just finished my third show today. Um, you know, I'm building the following. I had um, I had quite a few people come in. I got almost a hundred followers already, so that's kind of fun. Um, I I feel like my show was a success. The followers, I had quite a few viewers. Okay, this. 
looks like this looks like turquoise I don't it's not halite it's turquoise I must double check that it's natural it's going up past glass <laughs> It's going up past glass. And then we could check. This could be sterling. It's not marked. Shall we check it? It's rubbing like copper. It's got a copper color instead of the sterling. Yeah, I don't think it is. Nope, it's not sterling. Nope. And this has to be like, I don't think it's a is it a wrap bracelet? It's really pretty. It's got all, look how shiny that is. It's got the beads. I mean, I don't think it's a necklace. I think it's a wrap bracelet. It's really nice. And you wrap it all the way up. I mean, you would have to wrap. Somebody would have to help you with that though. Oops. I mean, you would have to like wrap and wrap and wrap. But so you could wrap it this way. That's not too bad. And then wrap it this way. That's fun. That is awesome. I'm definitely listing that. That is a very cool wrap bracelet. That is a keeper for sure. <laughs> okay, tiger's eye. Wow, I got this is a really good one, isn't it? I like this. This seems vintage. I don't know if it is. It just has that feel, a vintage feel to it. It's a copper, it feels like copper. Um, it's got a copper look to it. I don't know if it is copper. Spring ring. It's not signed. That's very nice. Tiger's eye. We've got a lot of yeses so far. I wish I could play music while I'm doing these, but I think uh, YouTube would probably flag it. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the colors. I wonder if that's sterling. Let's test it. It's got that copper look too. I do like testing things though. It's kind of fun. It really does have that silver look though. Mm -mm. And then it's got, a, it's on a rope. Very long, long rope. It's probably a good 38 inches or so. But this, if it was me, I'd probably take it off the rope and put it on a better chain. 
because this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at this elephant. <gasps> so cute and it's natural. It's definitely natural stone. I don't see a mark on it, like 925, but it's natural stone. And then it has, you know, it's just on one of those um, black chain, like black cords. But, oh my goodness, elephants are so in right now. That is so adorable. If somebody wants to take this home, I guess I, I haven't been giving prices, have I? Um, this, I know, I, I can, I'll, the wrap bracelet, I think they go for about 35 online. I would do 30 on that. I'm gonna list it for, I would list it for that. So the elephant on this chain, it's natural. It's such a cute little carving. I do 15 on that. And if you say like, oh, I would really like that, but 15 is a little um, steep and you're like, I'd really like that. Um, tell me what you would like to buy it for because I'm still working on my pricing model for sure. Okay, I'm gonna work on that tangle in a minute. Um, these are just some like, I think they're just, I think they're, I think they're glass. Yeah, these are glass beads. So you have a great set of glass beads here. Long, long set, so you could double it. And let's see how long this is. Oh my goodness, it's very long. Uh, it's 25. Goodness, it's measuring 26. I mean, you've got this, I think that's where they tied it right there, but I mean, obviously you're gonna have to tie it off somewhere. So you just put that behind your neck. Those are some fun glass beads. Let's pull this one out. Oh, this is just very simple. And it's a, Oh, it has a maker's. Let's see, who is it? Uh, Leah Sophia. This is my first Leah Sophia. I don't know much about Leah Sophia. This looks like a lot of little natural stones, so. And a little simple necklace. I'd do $5 on this. Maybe if there's something that you're interested in, um, like I said, I'm, I'm on whatnot too. So eventually I'm going to be starting to put some of this on, on, uh, whatnot in my auctions. But you know, after a month, you can just probably assume it's gone, but before then, you know, reach out to me because I will post in my stores and, uh, I'm also going to start auctioning off. I need 50 followers to go live on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed, oh, that would be really awesome. If you're watching, just hit the subscribe button. I, my goal is to get 50 followers so I can go live or at least connect to what, whatnot so that I can tell you guys I'm going live. That would be cool. Okay, these are natural stones as well. I'll double check. Um, usually I have my little camera higher. Oh, oh, okay. This is going up into like jadeite spinel. So this is natural stone. Yeah, that's pretty. I wasn't as organized today as I was. Oh, so sorry, I would, for this one, and this is kind of, I 
Yeah, I do eight dollars on this too. Okay, this is a stone that's wrapped in metal. And the metal's got a little bit of wear on it. And then you have the chain. I'd do two dollars on this. It's got a little wear. But the the stone inside is really nice. So even if you just pulled out the stone and did something with that, if you didn't actually use it as the necklace and it has a spring, doesn't have a maker's mark or anything. That pin just keeps coming back. Oh, and so did that, okay. This is another natural. This is a really nice lot. A natural stone. Pull this back a little bit. Let's see what these are. This is going up to jade, or almost to jade, almost. So it's just right before jade. So, um, wait. Is that, a, does that mean it's down here? Oh, now it's above it. It's in the jadeite spinel. And it's above aqua. Is it aqua then? Maybe. You guys will help me out, I'm sure. But it's definitely natural. And it has that little push through closure it's this is old or it feels old anyway I wonder if it's uh, vintage it feels vintage it's really nice it just needs a little cleanings um, I would say this piece probably like 15 with all of the different natural stones Oh, that has a monkey on it. And some writing. I don't know what it says. I'll hold it still. It says something. Hopefully it doesn't say, like, major bad words. Um, and then it's just plastic. I'll probably either... Um, I mean, I don't know. That that might go to crafts. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Is it natural stone? It is natural stone. It's going up to... I, mean, I don't know what it is, but... Is it onyx? Like a granite? Quartz? Maybe it's a quartz. Former quartz. I ordered some books to get better prepared on my different stones. This is just glass and again this is in oh that's tiger's eye. So you've got glass, tiger's eye, some natural stones, no maker's mark. None of these have had, had maker's mark. That's kind of, oh, we already looked at that pin, and we looked at these. Let's follow that. Okay. So I moved some of the stuff out of the way and I'm opening this little second bag. It's still from Rockford, Illinois. They had sent it in two different bags. 
And so we're going to start with this one. So this one is um, silver and has some natural wood, but then it has gold and it feels leather on the chain. Let's see, does it have a maker? It does. Oh, it's Chico's. You know, Chico's makes um, some really nice jewelry in terms of their whoever they use to make their jewelry they do a really nice job this is an older piece for sure so i don't know how old this piece is it needs to be cleaned up but i think it's a nice piece i would do this piece oh it's very long too let's see it is 30 with the extension it is 33 almost 34 gracious And you now I would do $10 on this. This is cute. Let's make sure it's not broken before I spend all the time on it. This is, I think this is Jessica Simpson. Lobster claw. Silver, um, probably about 28 inches is my guess on this. Why not? We don't guess. Yeah, 28 inches. I'm getting good at the guesstimations. And it has a little knot in there, but I could work on getting that out. And it does have a little bit of an extension. It's just a nice little piece. There's not a lot of wear on it. So. The, the chain, though, you know, sometimes those thinner chains, you have to work because they do get knotted. I, I might, I... Oh, look, and it's got the little additional detail of the little rhinestones there, crystals. Okay. I might put that one in craft. Um, if somebody wanted it for a couple dollars, I'd do that. Just because of the chain. The chain seems like it's... Not that it's seen better days, but... Okay, this is a Banana Republic. Ooh, this kind of matches the beads that were missing from that one necklace, but it's not. But this is simple. It's Banana Republic. Uh, they're not real. They're not real. They're acrylic, I think. Let me make sure they're not glass beads. Yeah. They're not glass, they're acrylic and a silver chain. And I would just do like $3 on this. Okay. We have a tag. My phone went sideways. Uh, Sasha. It's the first time I've seen a Sasha necklace. I've not heard of that brand either, so it's good. I'm seeing some brands I haven't seen. Let me undo this and see if I can get it untangled or straighter. So it's just a simple rope. I like the way these kind of lay sometimes. And 
I would probably not list this one either. So if, um, if you're interested, I would do $3 on this as well. Here's a chain. Is this J. Crew? Yeah, it's J. Crew. It's a simple chain. I'll list this one. Or if you're interested in it, um, I, I'll offer it to you guys for $10 simple chain silver tone j crew oh let's do that well in that case, what we got wait fine pewter contains silver it's a little picture frame oh so and it has a little c clasp and so I guess you could, well, obviously you could wear it, but you could also just like put it on your desk. Like if you're at, you know, just put it on your desk. Just put a picture of my little loved one right there. Like, or wear a little loved one. So I'd do this for $2. Two dollars. That's cute. This is, oh, it's got, oh, you can see through it. Look at that. So you can see the light comes through it. It's roses. It's in good shape. It has a vintage feel, but I don't think it is. It's a 1928. I see a lot of people opening this kind of jewelry. I don't know a lot about 1928. It's in good shape. What do you think? I do ten dollars on this. Is that too much? Is that too little? I don't know. It's a very beautiful necklace. Let me tell you how long it is. It is yeah, it's thirty or um thirty two. Thirty two, no extender. This one is going to make you smile because it's got all kinds of sunshine. Sunshine in the summer. I like to make up songs. Okay, well, this has got a maker's mark. Oh, it's Charm and Charlie's. Then it's CC. Charm and Charlie's just very simple. They have some they have some great jewelry. You know, like when you go into Charm and Charlie's, it's just like it just kind of makes you happy because they have all those different places where there's all the colors. So you know, like when you went in and they had this necklace, it was like you probably just saw all of the yellows and it probably had like yellows and blacks during in that little section. Oh, these are really pretty and it's in good shape. And I mean, if I don't list this, I would, um, I'd do $8. This is sunshine and happiness right here in my hand. It's got an extender. Uh, it's, it's probably, again, it's probably 32, 34 inches, 34. <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> okay, we had to pause because... Jojo had to go yell at people for a minute, and uh, that would have been annoying. Okay, so I think I said $8, and I meant it. <laughs> oh, this feels like, this feels like gold. Did I just find gold? Nine two five. The gold is... Um, coming off a little bit but this is sterling silver so this may just be end up being scrap 
but this is sterling. And it's a really long necklace though. And just for fun, let's test it. I'm gonna raise my camera up just a little bit. Oh yeah, see, I can see right away that it's turning colors. Seeing that it's right on there. Yep. Yep. Sterling. Sterling. We found Sterling. That's always fun. When you find little pockets of precious metals. and This is pretty. Is that like... I don't know if I can test those. They're so tiny. They're glass. Just a little glass in there. And, oh, it has, well, it has multiple extenders. So obviously you can wear it at lots of different lengths. And it has a maker's mark. Oh, it's another Leah Sophia. So we have two Leah Sophias. It's really pretty. I think a nice little, and that'll clean up really nice. And I would say $8 on this one. We have a lot of nice stuff in here. This one over here. That's pretty. Falling off the shoulder. It's a gold tone. Uh, do, that, that's not real tur turquoise in there. Could be halite. It's testing above glass, so it's natural. And let's see if it has a maker's mark. Oh, Charming Charlie's. And I would do, no, I just do, it's in pretty decent shape. It's, it doesn't have a lot of wear. It's got a little bit of wear, but it's it doesn't have a lot of wear on it. So it's still in good shape. It just needs like a little, you know, a little cleaning up, but not horrible. And I would do $5 on this. Looks like I've got like two of these or two. Yeah, I've got two of these, two very similar. Um, this one has got faux pearls that are more on the you know, like, not beige, but like the off-white side. This one is VJ. I don't know what VJ stands for. And it's in really good condition. Uh, let's check the stones. I, they're just faux pearls, but I'll just check the... Yeah, they're just gla the little glass. Oh, it's testing glass. And these are, I think they're faux pearls. They have to be, I think they're faux pearls. They look really nice though, and they don't have a lot of wear. And I would do $5, uh, $3. And on this one, it doesn't have a lot of wear either. It's, it, this up here does have some, some wear on it. And it is a... L R L R I don't know that one either. And it's just a simple one again, faux pearls, three dollars. 
Oh, they put these. They put these in a bag. I like that, that they did that. Oh my goodness. Okay. This looks like a Kendra Scott. So not Kendra Scott. This is actually Charming Charlie's. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. Charming Charlie's. Um, there is quite a bit of wear on this. And so I'm probably just going to put this in crafts. It was, it was, enough. it was decent. It was just, uh, I just feel like there was enough wear on it that it didn't warrant. Okay. Um, remember you can fast forward if I'm working on a tangle and you want to move forward. Oh, this is just one. Maybe? No, two. Let me get this undone. Yeah, bear with me. My mom called. She said she just got back from the ocean on a walk. She said uh, that the winds were going pretty good, but uh, the ocean was beautiful. I'm like, oh, I miss the ocean. I just got back from Anna Maria Island with a friend, and oh my goodness. I don't know when more one necklace ends and the other begins. Okay. So there's this. And then we've got this here. I feel like this is like one necklace, but I'm not 100% sure yet. We will figure this out. Anyway, when I was at Anna Marie... Anna Maria Island, and that's just um, close to Sarasota, Florida. Oh my goodness. The weather was, it wasn't a perfect weather, but it was like perfect temperature. So, I mean, we had, we had a little bit of storms, but oh my goodness. I enjoyed being outside, especially since it's starting to get kind of chilly here in Kansas City. Okay. We can do this, Angela, we can do this. Ha ha, okay, got that one untangled. Okay, all that, and we now have, okay, it's a layered necklace, gold tone, very long. Oh, that's really pretty. I like it. Like it a lot. Yes, I do. Okay, so we've got that hangs, and then we have this. It is. Oh, it's. Oh, it's. Is that Lauren? Somebody asked me about this brand today when I was on Whatnot. Is that Lauren Conrad? And she asked me, do you have any of that? I said, no, I do not, but maybe I do. Is I, I'll have to look that up. I think I now have one. So that's exciting. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around, see if there's anything on the side of the pendant. And I do not know how to price this yet. It's gold tone. I don't know if it's gold plated, but it's the LC and I'm gonna put this aside. So if this is something that you're interested in and you want to have this, you can send me an offer. I will look it up. Look at that, that crystal kind of moves in the middle and it's in excellent shape. Uh, there is just a teeny bit of wear on the extender and on the clasp, which is obviously expected if it's a piece that's been worn and loved, so. That's a really nice piece. And I'm gonna put it over here. I don't think we showed this piece yet. I've been distracted, obviously. No, this is Express. 
seen a lot of pointy necklaces today. Okay, this is Express, gold tone, not a lot of wear. I would say I would do this for like five bucks. It's really nice. Oh, uh, this is really pretty. Um, Charming Charlie's. Oh, shoot. What what do they call that when it's kind of like up and it's got the, the stone is kind of sits up and it's kind of rough. There's a name for it. I don't remember. It's not coming to me right this second. And it is a lobster claw gold, uh, gold tone chain. It's really kind of a fun chain actually see it's got a lot of it's a lot of character to the chain and I would say three dollars on this there's a little bit of wear on it but it's in pretty decent shape oh and then this one V is that this one may be Vera Bradley it's just a V it doesn't say VB though. And um, I did have somebody answer me in my email. Thank you very much. Um, I didn't have permission to say her name, so I'm not going to say it. But she said that um, one of my very first videos I had. Uh, I had something that was like a lot of stones and seed beads. And then at the end, there was nothing, just uh, stones. And then it just ended. And it's actually supposed to be that way. So, and you just tie the necklace. It's really long and you just tie it. So this is really nice. Um, I, would, I would do $8 on this. It's a very nice little necklace. It's only like um, 18 inches long. And there is a little bit of an extender to it. So, two inch extender. I like how they back some of these individually. It's just multi layers of beads and the silver. And this looks like, oh, it's another Leah Sophia. So I got lots of Leah Sophia in this bag. And I wonder, they don't feel like natural beads. No, they're just acrylic. And here's another one. I bet this is Leah Sophia too. It is Leah Sophia. Um, again, I don't think, yeah, these aren't natural beads. They're acrylic beads. Let me pull this out of the bag. This is too layered. You really get the essence of the prettiness of these. That's really nice. Look at all the layers. I thought this was gonna be a short video. Here's this one. And look at the blues. So what I say, $8, $8 on each one of those. And again, I'm just throwing out those prices. Somebody asked me to do that, so I shall do it. If you like this kind of content, make sure that you subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 50 followers. There is a hair in that one, gross. I got stuck in this little one. And this is, oh, I bet this is J. Crew. Looks like a J. Crew. Yep, it's J. Crew. It's in good shape. And I would do 20 on this. And 
and I would make sure that all the facets are down. That's an easy, little easy fix. There was a, just a couple of those facets that were up, or not facets, but uh, little prongs. So I'll double check those. Clean that up before I list it. What's this one? Not a lot of necklaces in this one. This is I can't see it. I still can't see it. Anyway, this looks like a rhinestone. I don't know if I can clean that up though. It looks like it's, it looks vintage, but you've also got, I've got, there's quite a bit of wear on this chain. I mean, you could put the pendant though on another chain and clean up the pendant. If you like the pendant, I'd do that for like a, a dollar. Otherwise, I probably would just put it in craps. <laughs> Is this another Charmin Charlie's? This is another one of those Y ones, I think, maybe. Again, if I'm going too slow, you can always fast forward. Okay, so yeah, it's got the three layers and then the Y. This is sweet. It's kind of almost like a little choker on the first one though. It's, oh wait. It, how would that fit around your neck? That's, that would not fit around your neck. Where would you put it? Like I could fit around the, hold on. I can't fit that around my neck. You would have to use the, well, let me see if I can even do it with the extender. I mean, you would have to have the babiest neck ever and you have to use the extender. Like if you have a really tiny neck, this necklace is for you. Otherwise, I don't really know what you would do with it. It's too tiny. Um, if it, you know, I'd do a dollar if anybody was interested in that. Otherwise, it's probably going to go crass because I don't know how you'd even sell that online being so tiny. Okay, this is, looks like something totally I would wear. It's a silver tone. It's great shape. Uh, don't know. What is that brand? C&I. Ah, oh, C&I. I've seen that before. C plus I. And it's got the bird. Okay. Well, anyway. It's in great shape. I would do $5 on this. And it has to see, it's in, this is in perfect condition. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this thing. It's in perfect condition and it has the extenders. C and I. I'm actually, I'm really impressed with this lot. I probably did pay like $40 for all of this. I've been trying to pay up a little bit and get better lots because I want better stuff. All right, let me see if I can get this open. Uh, this is Express. And it has some 
pendants on it. Some charms. Well, shoot, it's all tangled. Charms. Um, let me see if I can get this. Again, fast forward if you need to. I gotta work this out real quick. If you double click on the right hand side, it'll fast forward like 10 seconds. Make me sound like I'm talking like a chipmunk. Maybe. <laughs> mm, ah, got it. Okay, it's pretty long. And it has all of these charms on it. There we go. Oh, it's layered. That's why I was having an issue. So it's two layers. Two layers. Why are why do they making why are they making necklaces with such little baby necks? Wait, I'm gonna put this. Did I, my neck grow? I don't know. No, if if it's fine around the neck, it's just gonna be. It is a smaller neck. It's. I think it's probably what. Let me see. This one is, yeah, I was thinking just a little over 14. So it's 16 inches and then 20 inches, 16 and 20. And it has all these fun charms. Oh no, all that work. And I'm missing a little rhinestone. That could be fixed though. Like if you were really in love with this and you're like, oh, I gotta have it. I don't know. I think it's probably gonna go to crafts though. One. This is, oh, it's Trafari. Is that Crown Trafari? Well, a little unicorn in this bag. Crown Trafari. It's just a simple chain. I wonder if there was a pendant on it prior. Uh, it's a Crown Trafari. Silver chain. And I have no idea what that's worth. So, um, yeah, I'll have to look that up. I know that Trafari goes for, for a little bit more. Oh, I'll lose that one. Or not. I don't know. I'm still, still learning. Come learn with me. Oh, what do we have here? A pair of not, wait, are these our pair of earrings yet? I feel like. They're hearts. TJG. I don't know. Oh, my cuticles. I need to get a little. <sighs> There's a macho to it, though. A macho. <laughs> Got a macho. TJG. Um, they just feel like just silver tone. They've got a little bubble up here. So. Clip ons. They're nice. Probably like $3 nice. Watch me like price something at like, oh, here's something for a dollar and it's like worth 200 or something. That would be like me to do something like that. I'm just, next year I'll be so much better, I'm sure. Be like, she's got her prices down now. <laughs> Believe love. It's 
So it's got a lot of fun little interesting things going on on the chain. And the beads. It's Chico's. Another Chico's. Um, it's silver tone. It doesn't have a lot of wear. It's nice. Believe love. I'm going to call that little wear right there. Tech, um, that's charm to it. That's not even, that's not wear on the necklace. That's just charm. There's a little wear up here that could be just dirt, you know, or where it was, you know, where somebody wore it around their neck. And I think that's just, you know, where you would clean it up a little bit. And I think that's worth at least $8, I think. Oh, what is this? This looks fun. What is it? This is... Laura Ashley. Laura Ashley. And... What does it hang off of? Does it just like hang off of um, just a clip? Hangs off something. Then, oh, shoot. It's broken. That's what. Look. I wonder if it's natural stone. I, I turned off Percy because I had a. But look at that. Look at that stone. My natural light in here is still pretty good, so. It has some scratches on top, but. Percy's warming up. I got another Chico's right here, I think. No, this is Chaps. It's, uh, it's pretty worn. I wonder if it's sterling though. It looks it looks tarnished. Mm, the clasp is not. These little balls look tarnished. Nothing saying ninety-five. Mm -mm. And it's pretty worn. I would say that's going to craft. This one has got flowers on it. I don't know what that maker's mark is. Uh, is it like an anklet maybe or, or, oh, I know what it is. It's a bracelet and then you put it like on your finger. So, it's decorative, something like that. The rhinestones. Could be CZs, oops. That would be pretty, maybe like at a wedding or something like that, or a dance. Be careful getting that off. It's not, it's not stretchy, so you'd have to be careful. And there's really, there's no rhinestones missing. I could do that for like, oh, there is one rhinestone. There's one rhinestone missing, but it would be, honestly, like if you wanted something like this, no one would see that because it's underneath. So if you wanted it, it would be underneath. No one would see a missing rhinestone. I barely noticed it and I would do it for like $3. It is missing one rhinestone right next to the clasp area, but you would not see the missing rhinestone. And this would be a little gorgeous piece for like a dance or, I don't know, just 
a fancy something or other. This is Banana Republic. New with tags. $49. And do this for $15. But I will put this up for auction probably this week. So if you don't reach out to me, it's going on auction on whatnot because I have shows all week. 10.30 on whatnot. So, and I'm doing all new with tag and that is new with tag. So I will throw that in my show. It may be gone. Uh, J. Crew. It's brass. This will also go up on auction as well if no one reaches out, and I would do 15 on this. It's brass. Oh, here's another Laura Ashley. Oh, this is the other part of the Laura Ashley. So I guess you could fix it. Oh, it, it was a necklace. So it's fixable. So someone could fix that, Laura Ashley. Let's see if that was natural stones. Uh, glass. The middle ones are not. This is testing this glass. But this could go into um, crafts, obviously, or if somebody wanted it, I could do it for a dollar and they could fix it. Otherwise, it's not going to go in crafts. Oh, I have a mess here. And I am almost done. We've got only just a few more things. I didn't have very many earrings in this one. Oh, there's got a lot of wear on this one. But let's just see if it's silver. It has a maker's mark on it. Let's see. Oh, it's hard to open. Am I opening it from the wrong... I'm not opening it from the wrong side. Oh, yeah, I was. Duh. Be smarter than the bracelet. Napier. So I'm curious, like, if does Napier still go if it's kind of scratched? I mean, like, this to me seems too worn. Hello, see my reflection though. Like that, it just seems too worn. Like this would go in crafts to me or somebody could fix it. Here, this does not need fit. Oh, this is J. Crew. Nice, J. Crew. I would do 15 on this. It looks like, uh, it looks brand new. It looks absolutely brand new. There's nothing wrong with this bracelet. It will fit, it looks like it's a seven as well. Yeah, it's a seven. It is, it is not gonna go up to a seven and a half. So it's a, it's a small seven. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. Aww. I like that saying. I do $5 on that. Look, it looks stainless steel. Here's another bracelet. Oh. It's uh, it's one of those ones that have the copper and those little thingies on it. Aren't those supposed to be like health bracelets? Those are expensive, are supposed to be expensive, aren't they? I don't know. I'll have to do research on that. I bet that's worth at least, I think that's worth like $20. It needs a little clean up. 15 or $20. 
Oh, wow. Hello. Look at this gorgeousness. Um, I hope it has a maker's mark. Do you? Do you? Don't have anything wrong with it. Okay. <gasps> New York and Company. This is really pretty. This is, this is like, got some elegance to it. Come on. So there is wear, you know, like wear up by the neck area, but not a lot. I mean, that's to be expected when you have jewelry that's been worn before. You can't have it perfect. I mean, it's close to perfect. There's a little, there's a little bit of wear here, but oh my goodness. This is stunning. Look at the faux pearls. And it looks like onyx. It's not, oh, it's leather. It's like, it's either faux or real leather in those little guys right there. And those are faux pearls. Wow, let's get a length on this. I bet it's like 30, let's see, it's 36 inches with um, at least two or three inch extender there. Wow. I would, I'd venture to say this is, this is at least $20. I would list this for higher in my store. I'd probably list it for closer to I listed it probably about 28 is what I'd list it for. I'm offering it for you guys for 20 because you see it first and I don't have to pay a commission there to, um, uh, this has no stretch, but it's not supposed to. It's a bracelet. Um, it's big. Let's see. I think it goes, probably goes down to about eight and a half, nine. I was so close. Yeah. It's almost a, an anklet. It's an eight and a half. This could be even restrung for the right size, too. But I think it's going to crafts. <laughs> Stella and Dot. Okay, I've heard of that brand. Stella and Dot. This is in nice condition. It's just a simple gold tone. Not a lot of wear. Somewhere. But not a lot of wear. It's gold plated. And it's probably just like uh, 16 to 18 inches. Does not. Well, I mean, it does have the extender. Yeah. Yeah, it has an extender. Oops, I keep doing that on the wrong side. Um, yeah, it's 18 inches. So 16 to 18 inches. And that one, I would say like five bucks. And what do we got here? Oh, got another Banana Republic. I, you know what? I've never bought from Banana Republic. I think I've said that before, and I really kind of like their quality. They have good quality. And this is another good one. Pretty sure it's got a little, not a lot, not a lot of wear. There's, there's a little bit of wear on the little, let me get up closer. The sun is starting to come through. It's a good thing I'm almost done with this video. And it is, I think it's at least 30 inches. 30, 34, 34 inches, and it has a two inch extender, so 36. And I would go 15 on that. Almost done. Oh, this is another one similar to the last one. I think was I think was a Vera Bradley. 
This is so cute. This would look great for like a dance. And this one is, oh, it's another Leah Sophia. So we've got some Leah Sophia's this time. This is really pretty. I would go, go 15 on this. Gunmetal color. And I think this one again is like around 18 to 20 inches. Three more, I think. Three or four more. Okay, this one's simple. It's light, so it's not real heavy. It's a uh, kind of a brassy. Not it's it's not brass color. It's a. Uh, How do I describe the color? It's not gunmetal. It's a little lighter than gunmetal and kind of on the brass side. It's really pretty and it has all of these stones. I don't think they're real, but hey, you know what? We have this thing, so why don't we check? It's moving. I feel like these could be glass. Uh-uh. I don't think they're real pearls, though. They could be. They were not... They weren't smooth on my teeth. Nope. They're just faux pearls. And I would say... Just like... Five dollars. I already did that one. Oh, juicy. We got some juicy. Oh, where did my other earring go? I just dropped it. All right, where did you go, juicy? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll come back to that. Okay, we have a bangle. It's just a bangle. I don't know what I'll do with that. more juicy so this is juicy it's a little 18 inch no extender and I would just do like ten dollars on that and then we have what do we got here? These look like they've seen better days on the, I think this is probably just gonna, yeah, it's, I think the beads, and I think we're missing one, that's just gonna go to crafts. And I don't know what this thing does. Does it go up your nose? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Does it go off your nose? I don't know. Okay. That's a little heart. Not heart. Sorry. Flowers. This looks very antique -y. We're almost done, Jojo. It's a 1928. Does that mean they look make pieces that look like they're from 1928? I'm guessing so. Somebody must be coming home. A uh, little 18 inch, 20, 20 inch chain. Let's see if I can get through this video. And then we have, oh, that's sweet. Uh, it looks just like a little cubic zirconia in the middle. Yeah, it's it's crystal quartz. Little eighteen-inch chain, no maker's mark. 
and I don't see it's not real it's not real silver no I, I think this is sweet I'd do five dollars on that and I think we already did that one let's do this pin makes me want to go back to the sunshine it's okay Jojo and this one does have a maker's mark. It's got a... Doesn't her bark sound so mean? It does. She really doesn't have that mean of a bark. I mean, she's not really that mean of a dog. She just sounds mean. This is really shiny pin. And this pin, I think, is worth at least five bucks. And, oh, this is the one that fell off that express, but it's going in. And then I've lost, somehow I've lost the juicy earring. But I think these, these might be a set. Oh, look at that. They have the little things on the back. They could go as a set. No, they're not a set. It's just, I'll find the other earring. But if you're interested in the earrings, I think I would do those for... $10. Like, um, I got a pretty decent deal with all of this jewelry here. I think I probably spent about $40 on all of this. And over the long haul, I think I'll probably end up getting my money back. And so if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, come visit me and Jojo next time we make a video. Like she will growl at you and, and I'll open some jewelry. So have a great day.